Lauren Feldman, I want to talk about Google VO. Google VO is their latest um, version of their AI video software, Google, and it's the end of the world as we know it. Video killed the radio star, AI killed the video star. You heard it here first. It's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. These videos are 99.9 .9 indistinguishable from real life and there lies the problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to disrupt everything. 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 This is the tipping point, as they say. <clears throat> Excuse me. First industry that's done um, advertising. That was already on its way out. Commercial video production, done. Commercial actors, done. Commercial voiceovers, done. Commercial writers, done. Commercial um, production companies, did I say that? Done. All of those guys are done and fast. No reason to hire actors anymore. No reason for voiceover. No reason for writers. It's commercials. Nobody cares. There's no art involved anyway, and those guys are finished. So right off the bat, they're finished. Um, the movie industry, special effects, you're finished. Um, backgrounds, you're finished. Um, it's going to take a while to make a real AI movie. It's definitely going to take a while, because you need to get your one avatar and then train it and make it a real actor and... There's definitely some technical and artistic limitations when it comes to AI replacing movies, but it's starting with the special effect industry. Influencers and YouTube. It's going to be a disaster. YouTube is going to be an utter and complete disaster. There are millions of people already putting up faceless channels. Um, no reason to be on YouTube other than to make money, right? YouTube's their business. They're not making art. They're not doing anything particularly interesting other than trying to grab eyeballs. And now AI is just going to be flooded. YouTube will be absolutely flooded with this stuff. Um, that's that. Facebook, social media. Zuck's already said that he's going to use these AI avatars, put them in your feed, and that's going to be a disaster because your aunt and uncle and grandma and grandpa are never going to be able to tell the difference, and that's going to be a problem. Politics. Fake everything. Fake Bidens, fake Trumps, fake Obamas, fake Hillarys, fake everything and everybody, and no one's ever going to know. No one's ever going to know. I mean, it's just, it's so disastrous across every line of culture. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Anything you can think of now can become real. And most people, they don't think good, happy thoughts. They think insane bad thoughts, and now um, all of those can become video. Video makes it real, right? Video makes it real. Porn industry, forget it. I mean, that's, that's just going to be off the charts. It's a tipping point moment, the point of no return. There's no going back from this, and it's going to be horrifying. When social media was first invented... I was the guy who said it was going to be horrifying, and this is going to be a thousand times worse. I mean, a thousand times worse. And it's unstoppable, and I, I don't even know where to begin, where it ends. I don't know about any of it other than that it's going to change everything, and in a bad way. Bad, bad, bad way. Nothing, nothing, good, good is coming out of this. Nothing. So what do you do? What's the future? How do you combat it? Well, here's what I think is going to happen. First of all, authenticity is going to become even more valuable than ever. Um, I know that's a word that's thrown around a lot. And what does it mean? It means being real. It means 
making a song because you want to make a song, not because you want to get listens. It's about making a video because you actually have something to say. You want to get it off your chest. You want to really help people. You really want to educate, entertain people. You have to be authentic and real authentic people, real bodies are going to become more and more um, valuable as they become more and more scarce. Because let's face it, most people are going to chase the bucks and they're going to do whatever they need to do to get those views or get those listens. And as I said, YouTube's just going to be flooded with all kinds of nonsense. Your influencers, even the big ones, they're in trouble. I've seen some fake AI girls that are beautiful and adorable and seemingly smart and you would never know it. You would never know it. And how about this? Does it even matter if you do? That's the next big question. Is that will it even matter to people that they know that it's fake but they still don't care? And my answer to that question is a lot of people aren't going to care. They just want someone to talk to. They want someone pretty to look at. Um, can you imagine having an AI basically slave that's perfect, perfect looking, whatever you want it to look like, redhead, blonde, brunette, whatever, but it's perfect. And you control all of its thoughts and all of its actions. Do you think most people are going to do things that benefit society with that kind of power? Do you? I don't. I think people are going to do unimaginably crazy, crazy, demented things with this on every level, every level, business, entertainment, culture, politics, business, sex, everything changes. And again, I don't know the answer other than to keep your eyes open, try and be smart about things. Look for authentic, real people with something to say, and maybe you'll be all right. Really what should happen is now's a good time if you're a coder, entrepreneur type, to build a Facebook that's only people, to build a YouTube where you have to be a human being. Those, those might do well. It's going to take time and billions of dollars and who knows if anyone's even going to bother to do it because it's better to just rip off advertisers with AI. But that would be the smart move to just build all of this stuff we've already built, but now just for humans only. Isn't it crazy to say that? Anyway, Lauren Feldman, laurenfeldman.com.